This is K24 Sports Hub, right here in the capital, Nairobi. My name is, as usual, your loyal servant, Tony Kualanda. On Twitter, it's at Kualanda, <laughs> at K24 TV. <laughs> Uh, remember, of course, today our very special guest, very, very special, especially from Thika, Watuwa National Super League. Today is your day to watch this particular show because we have one or many of your own who are here from Thika. Uh, those uh, two individuals, we shall be introducing them in a while. You don't want to miss them because they have one of the best football stories that this country needs to know about. That is a little bit later. Welcome. I want you, of course, to start uh, by enjoying this question and participating in this show. We are asking you, yes, uh, looking at how our former footballers have been treated, the Murillas, the Motegos, the Abbas, we are asking Kinamasiga, yes, Kinaluanga, Murilla, Muyoti. Yeah, we are asking you, what do you think? How have they been treated so far by our very own country? You know, recently, of course, uh, the county government of Nairobi, uh, through Sonko, nominated uh, Musa Utieno together with Oliech into a committee of sports development. So we are asking you, how is the country treating our former top players? At Kualanda, at K24 TV, is where we are having this discussion. And you know the drill? Now... Uh, let me take you and fly you all the way to one of the best uh, uh, beach points also in Ibiza. Ibiza is a place that most soccer stars, most sporting personalities, celebrities normally like going. Now, earlier this week, you know, uh, Cesc Fabregas, the Chelsea star, uh, after having their wedding, he had now that bash. Ile bash, you know, after wedding, there's normally that bash for you. are very close friends and some of the top. And uh, as you can see, uh, of course, uh, my very good friend here, Cesc Fabregas, is a family guy. And he's, uh, he's married to a lady who is uh, 10 years his senior. So, Mapenzi, uh, Haina... So remember, the people who are, some of them who are there are including the likes of Lionel Messi. Yeah, so Lionel Messi, of course, was having holiday just in a nearby uh, island. And then he just started to move around with his yacht. And then, of course, we had John Terry with uh, the, his lovely wife, uh, Tony. Yeah, Tony na I. Si na wai kayangu. Then uh, we had uh, this guy who is being sought after by Aston Villa. That is, of course, uh, uh, Terry, uh, who is currently the assistant to Roberto Martinez. And then, uh, yes, the likes of, uh, Kina, you know, the former Barcelona, his former teammates. And, you know, most definitely, yeah. So Antonio Recuso was there. Let me just move quickly. Uh, but I'll be showing you how my very good friend Ngolo Kante showed up at that event. Ngolo Kante is special. Nika Mimi. So Suarez, uh, Luis Suarez, together with the wife, uh, most definitely they couldn't miss this particular event. Ah, you can see Alba, you can see Ampadu, Barkley, and uh, Zapata. Uh, then my guy, Yani Ngolo Kante, yani, me I have to pull, uh, we have to do a Ngolo Kante challenge. Yani Musali kami, eh, maskuembe, skuembe for life. As in Africans, we just have to show off our, hapa magoti ya mutu likuwe nanuka kwa ibash. So you can imagine ilikuwa ni Ngolo Kante. But Ngolo Kante is just Ngolo Kante. Watch out, Peleka Magoti, you go Ibiza. <laughs> I'm sure perhaps it was the first time Ngolo Kante was going to Ibiza. This guy never goes for holiday anyway. And of course, uh, that's the lovely wife to one, uh, Cesc Fabregas. Kales Puyol, na kitu yake hapa imesmama. As in, definitely everybody was coming in, showing everything. I mean, showing up and... Uh, wana, hey, unona, as in, kila mtu wa shike mtu wake. Hapa hivyo, of course, they were just uh, going around, saying hello to the guests. Le, Ilensman, watu asen oleani, eh? You remember this guy uh, was awesome. Mintaka kuambia watu, me when I show up to this show with rubber shoes, na ma DH, na ma all stars, muna sema na kavibaya, na nikiva suti. But lemma nza kiva, muna sema tiya na kafiti. Mwache, alafu roziski, mwacheke alikuwa na kaleka smail kakando, kaleka, najua. So he showed up at that particular event. Can imagine, now Pedro has a very beautiful, yes, now you know. Kama mlikuwa muna fikiri ya kopeke yake, John Terry, as in, watu walikuwa meka muamana sana, kina abu skets. Hey, the former in his Pedro, it was so stunning, yani. definitely for that particular bash. It was one of the best bashes uh, in Ibiza, where everybody's on holiday just before the season starts during this uh, transfer window. Now, from uh, Ibiza, 
Let me fly you to Paris. Uh, the, the defending champions, uh, PSG, have a new coach. By the name Thomas Tuchel, or Tuchel, depending on where you are. This 44-year-old has told uh, uh, players, his players that, uh, in f no, in fact, has not told them. He has gone to every big club, like Zilema clubs, like, and night out clubs, and told uh, the night out clubs that if, if guys like Neymar and uh, can uh, show up at the, you know, Neymar is one of the clubs who likes going out. So he has told those clubs, if a guy shows up without my permission at your club, tell me. So you can imagine PSG guys, eh, wakona shida sana. Kina Tiago, kina Alves. So they have to most definitely style up. You remember during Sir Alex Ferguson time, players were not allowed to take alcohol. In fact, there's a time Brian Giggs was having a bash. This guy showed up at the bash, chased them away. Now, this guy, Pep Guardiola, has told his Man City players, no pizza. If you grow fat, you get out. Yes, even the kunaka. So those are the tight rules that are being uh, shared or being told by PSG. Yes. Now, right now, uh, I should take you to De Bruyne and uh, Anthony Martial, uh, their wives. Uh, okay. Okay, it's okay. Let's, let's, yeah, I, I will show you the pregnant uh, wife to De Bruyne and Anthony Marshall. But first, let me start with these uh, international uh, guests of mine. Uh, definitely, you know, my good friend Golo Kante. I've told you Golo Kante is a person who's being sought after. You know, Pjanic is set to leave Juventus. So, uh, Juventus, after getting Ronaldo, they want to bring in this guy, Golo Kante, because he's very prolific and very stubborn, yeah, <laughs> in midfield. Now, uh, Kylian Mbappe. Uh, when they're playing World Cup, he tried to persuade Ngolo Kante to join PSG. So Ngolo Kante, I don't know if Maurizio Sarri for Chelsea might be there next season. We don't know. But Ngolo Kante needs to get some fresh air from the English Premier League. Thank you very much. Now, uh, these two. Let me start with Maurizio Sarri. Maurizio Sarri is looking for a goalkeeper. Now, this is Rob Robert Green, 38 years old. Imagine, he's a former Queen's Park Rangers, uh, has played for West Ham. And, uh, of course, recently he came from Huddersfield. So he's, a, he's on free transfer. And imagine at 38 years old, Maurizio Chelsea are thinking that they should bring him on. In fact, this is after they missed Pepe Reina. Pepe Reina was supposed to be diverted from going to AC Milan to come to Chelsea, but that did not work. So Maurizio Sarri with Roman Abramovich have thought to bring in this guy. Thank you very much uh, for this too. Now, uh, Loris, as in I don't want to be in Loris Karias' shoes. Eh? Loris Karias Akonashida Mingi, the bland. In fact, when uh, Liverpool are currently are, were on their tour, the guy also just allowed in some very petty, simple goals. So the guy is considering quitting Liverpool. I don't know which team he will go to. In fact, we will ask uh, uh, the team manager for Bidko, who is here, Tony Luanga, if he can bring in Loris Karias. And then uh, Mo Salah has, of course, told uh, uh, Karias that... Uh, just hang in to your career. You never know. Uh, things might just turn out well, but things are bad for careers. Thank you. Uh, yes, Zame. Now, Dalic. All of you know Dalic. He is, of course, the silver medalist at the 2018 World Cup that was held in Russia. Now, Ameme Pembe. So the guy wants a fat paycheck. In fact, he wants to be paid 450 million Kenya shillings. Amesema Munilipa Manishia. Because, of course, he's being sought after. So, Zlatko Dalic. And Takam Sharakubo, or else he's going out. Even though Amambia Kolinda Graba Kitarovic, president to Croatia. Then uh, this guy of mine here is called uh, Nikola Kalinic. You remember he was the big headed. He refused to be substituted in, during the group stages of the World Cup for Croatia. Now, he was being handed a medal by uh, Dalic. The guy refused that uh, silver medal. Alisema Mimi Sikwa World Cup, Kaini na medal yenu. Hey, people have heads. Thank you very much. Tulete uh, wengine. Now, these two, yeah, because this is Le Lewandowski and this is uh, Lewandowska. These are two, of course, uh, uh, man and wife. Apparently, this guy is tired of playing in the Bundesliga. He has done everything that he wants to do. Chelsea are thinking we should bring him to, uh, to Stamford Bridge, but it will be very expensive. Do they go to, who will they bring in? I mean, at least to try and get in the place of Morata. Then, uh, the wife to Lewandowska, uh, Lewandowski is not a person to joke with. She is a black belt specialist. In fact, for, for Poland, she has won so many medals and titles in the World Championships for black belts. Thank you very much for this too. Uh, now, this is what is happening. Yeah? Uh, Fekia. 
Giroud and Fekir. You remember after France won the World Cup, you know there are normally those uh, small bets you make amongst your players. Like for example, oh, if I miss this, I will do press-ups, or if I do this, I will go hang on your wife's back. As in those things that players tell each other. Now, Giroud apparently said that he'll shave. You should see Giroud's head right now. And kama mtu ametoka high school. Amenyoa. Also, Nabi Fekia, uh, who apparently Liverpool are trying to lose their interest in, because uh, wanasumbuluwa sana in their signing, Nabi Fekia also said he will shave. So you can look at them right now, wanakama 16 years old. And then, of course, uh, also, in addition to this, mleteni hatu ingine? Naomba. Nzame. Graphics. Munalala. Aya. So, uh, Matuidi. Now, Matuidi is the one who said something very funny. He said that if France wins the World Cup, yeah, that he will cycle from Paris to Turin. Now, between Paris and Turin in Italy, that's, that's France and Italy, it is about the distance from Nairobi to Moyale. So, I'm waiting to see Blaise Matuidi, uh, Matuidi cycling like that. And then, Hugo Loris, Alisema, if they win the World Cup, he will crawl in a bar. Yani pale penyoto na kunyonga adult beverages. He will get drunk and then crawl from one end of a bar to the other. Ange kuja Nairobi ya fanya hivu, ange shanga sana. But also you know who Galoris is being sought after by Real Madrid because Tibo Kotua another could drag feet. Yes! That's of course where we leave this international guest. Quickly, let me take you to uh, De Bruyne's family and Anton Marshall. Take a look at these pictures. De Bruyne does not only make assists on the pitch. Look at, the, look at Michelle. Alisha Chapa assist. So very soon, kutakuwa na bao. Mm, yes, you can count. So basically, that's of course one of his uh, little young ones. So the guy is doing very well both on and off the pitch. These two, of course, engaged in 2016. They got married in 2017. Of course, their brain is very romantic. Alienda ku proposed just up Eiffel Tower. Uh, I'm not saying the girlfriend is beautiful, but I'm just looking at the shoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and of course, I can see the close-up of uh, the girlfriend. And then, Anthony Marshall... Apparently, imagine, ata kuambia Jose Mourinho anatoka camp. The guy just left the camp in the U.S., flew to be with the girlfriend, and the girlfriend, of course, is expecting a child. Uyu ni mtoto wa kwanza wa uyu. So, Marshall has two children, but an expect uh, uyu mwenye anakuja. Yeah, very soon. Anthony Marshall, congratulations in advance. <laughs> yeah, babies on board. Remember, our question of the day is very simple. We are asking you, eh, how are former footballers being treated? I'm talking about former footballers. I have a top footballer here, a former top Kenyan footballer. In fact, during the 1998 pre-World Cup qualifiers, they were played at the Mo International Sports Center, Kasarani, with about over 30,000 fans there. Tony Luanga was amongst the Harambe Stars players who ensured they beat Algeria 3-1. Tony Luanga, your game will be put an assist in Gabi. Your game, you are Nigeria. Nigeria. Nigeria, actually, I was, I gave, uh, will put an assist in Billy. Assist in Billy? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Tony Luanga is here. And Tony Luanga also is uh, currently the team manager for Bidco. United. Bidco United, of course, play in the National Super League. Happened the talent in a feed to the Kenyan Premier League normally comes of, of from. And talking about talent, we also have Sean John Opora, attacking midfielder of uh, Bidco United. Karibuni Sana. They have come here, of course, to share uh, the life and the hurdles and the rise of Bidco United. Seven months in the job yeah. as a team manager. How is it at Bidco? Actually, it's very difficult. Mm. Na kuwa kuna kazi nyingi. Yes. Kwa sababu, I'm dealing with young players. Players who want to know every, everything they, they see. Mm -hmm. And they want to perform. So I have to guide them. Make sure they have everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, guiding them is true. You know, wewe umepitia life. Wewe yeah. unajua umecheza football. And ke, boli yotu ya Kenya ilipagi sana. Yeah. But you've uh, seen yourself until Bidco, of course, employed you. Yeah. And they have trusted you, of course, with their company. Now they have trusted you with their other asset. Yeah. Uh, what will you tell? I mean, is that the way our former players need to be treated? Or what do you think about? Because, of course, you are asking the question, how are they being treated? Do you think you are treated well the way you represented Kenya? Actually, Bidko Menichukua, when I was falling, after my real football playing, 
bitko alipata niki nikiwa nikiteleza but fortunately walini pick na wakaniweka kwa line nikaanza kutembea so nawashukuru sana kwa sababu that time i was falling but they brought me up and now i can walk i can feed my family and do everything like uh, other other people of Kenya. Most definitely. Opora acha nikuletea hapa hivi. Opora we tuambie umeuli when did you join Bitcoin and do you think Bitcoin is a good place that can uh, itakusaidia ushine kwa talent yako football and also your aspirations when you nataka kuwa in future. Uh, nili nili join uh, Bitcoin last 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 year around mwezi uh, wa sita. Yes. So I joined Bitcoin from uh, administration police. Hapo ndo nili join uh, na so far imekuwa ni mzuri tu. Yeah. And so far how is it? Uh, ni place ambayo unataka kuwa uguru manake of course uh, from National Super League of course you head to Kenya Premier League. Ni hapo kwenye unataka kuchezea ni unapanga kuaje? Ama unataka kupanga kwa kama Rooney uende kwa timu zingine hapa hivi? Do window bado iko open? Eh hey, wenju. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, ni kila mchezaji ako na ile ambition at least ya ku ya kuenda places and uh, pia mimi Niko na ayo maono na um, so far I'm, I'm okay with Bitcoin where I am right now and I feel like um, tunataka our goals ndo tuna, we are looking forward to at least go to the Premier League. Most definitely. Yes. Uh, let, me, let me bring my team manager. Team manager, um, uh, I was reading somewhere, I remember of course my one of my colleagues in the industry called uh, Aliku interview and I to ask Seth Olale. No, Kasema Kamba. In a few years, you want to be. In two years, you want to be in the Kenyan Premier League. How do you think that is possible? Actually, after six six months of joining Bitcoin United as a team manager, I have done some several changes. I have tried to bring up some new players. I dropped some, at least nine players, to make sure that Bitcoin United is strong to compete with the other teams. So right now we have six players join, joined in the team yes. and uh, after maybe two, three matches they'll be completely in the team. In the, in the team. Let me ask, there could be one of us who is perhaps ako Sika, ama ako Nairobi, ama ako Kwetu Malava, ama ako Kisumu yeah. and they want to join Bidco United. Yeah. What is the process? Kuna mtu tu is good, is talented but they want to at least to attend your trials. When do you do them? Where? And is it accessible to anybody? Actually, Bitcoin is accessible to anybody. As long as you are a, a football player, you are talented, you are all welcome. Mm -hmm. Nobody will deny you that chance. Mm -hmm. So everybody, anytime, and you are talented to play, make sure you contact Bitco and you will always get the chance to play. Hey, Opora, uh, I don't know if I have those pictures on air. But I manage to see uh, this should be your play against Kibera All Stars. Opora na una kupuka what we should do. Una huyu nani mwanako kwa TV kwa screen huyu? Huyu anaitwa anaitwa Lampard. Eh eh. That is me. Huyu ni wewe mwenye nyosha hiyo mguu. Yes. Eh hey, bolda. Eh hey, raba band nayo kwa mguu. <laughs> mazoezi mazoezi. Eh <laughs> uh, mulishinda game though. Yeah, we yeah, want this to game of course you won. Uh, how, how are the facilities on the ground, uh, Opora? Una feel kwamba National Super League mna get what you want ama inge, inge, inge kwa improve kidogo? Uh, inge kwa improve kidogo, kidogo because uh, facilities bado, especially uh, wanja, wanja mob zenye tuna, tunatumia, si, they are not favorable to either our training or our, uh, during the matches. Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, hiyo ni challenge moja na challenge. Mna, we, mna, uh, transport ama chakula ama pay mko tu sawa juu na kaa unajua mashavu yake na shine shine kama hiyo kilo <laughs> <laughs> so mko tu sawa <laughs> no, the company ina ina to keep vizuri and uh, wana wanajaribu wana to host uh, in either away matches or home they make sure we prepare well so hapo sisi sema anaweza lalamika kuna issue yote eh kabisa yes. eh yeah. uh, uh, the National Super League. Currently, you should be in the top six. I'm number six currently. Yeah? Uh, uh, when are you going to be number one? Because season is going to be a and you need to be at least in the top three at least to qualify. Next. Actually, we need our plans. Every match we are going to play as like as if we are facing a final match. So every every match, like we say tomorrow, we are playing all stars. 
that is a must win match so after that we prepare for the another one we are playing on wednesday and then every match will be final match tomorrow we are playing at uh, thika stadium uh -huh. yeah so we we call on all the supporters of bitcoin united all the family of bitcoin united all the workers of bitcoin united to who come and support the team uh, yeah definitely and that is of course uh, tony luanga former afc former harambe stars former poster former raymond FC. raymond fc uh player serian serian eh i mean chesea most of the top clubs pia menda england pia men yes exactly Bonner. what happened you were supposed yeah let me ask uh, just before you were supposed to be i think to go to bonmas or what, yeah, what tell me about that really. yeah actually we were supported by a club in england whose name is Bonmouth, mm -hmm. and then they brought a scout and took us to England. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the negotiation made us not to join the team. Um, yeah, and also the positioning in the FIFA ranking. The ranking yeah, affected us. that one affected us. What up to that in Ghana, Europe? I'm a fan of Arsenal, so... When you fan of Arsenal? Yes. But then you get my issue Kitambo. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. That, of yeah. course, Sean John Opora, attacking midfielder uh, for Bitco United or Bitco FC United uh, team manager uh, Tony Luanga. Eh? Tony Luanga, big interview by Tony Kualanda. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, of course, Tony Luanga, team manager for Bitco United. Of course, former Arabian stars, <laughs> former AFC Leopard, Raymond Osirian, as well as. Uh, first uh, player amesaidia inchi sana 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 kwa ma pre qualifier we really appreciate uh, bidco united fc kualao uh, what these are your ambassadors of pora and of course alwanga santeni sana uh, we also asked you a question that uh, our former players being treated well kwa sababu nakumbuka uh, musautieno this of course was a question uh, musautieno na oliechu wamewekwa kwa board ya kenya na pia tunataka tony luanga awekwe kwa board ya kiambu Governor Waititu, yes, we must hear. Tony Luanga is a very uh, good hand. Uh, Waititu, in a form of paternity, has a good hand in sports. Yes, Kiambu County. Because I'm going to speak to you about the people who are going to Yes. Uh, <laughs> so, of course, yeah, uh, Bobo Shantan has said, former player go wasted because they are not being supported by sports industry. Bidco, we are going to be able to Bidco FC. Geoffrey Molina has said, I wish there are people who we took to the World Cup in Russia, si kupeleka ma MPs na leaders, eh, mungepeleka Tony Luanga, ama mpeleka opuora Russia. I mean, there is more benefits to that. But of course, there is a, uh, uyu anajie sema, njita madfish, and sema, eh, yes, eh, watu kwa kina kadenge wangesaidiwa, no, no, no. So, uh, of course, we are very happy kadenge, you can see him being involved by some of the top leadership. Brad Montesioka, akiwa ngumo, amesema they are never recognized uh, once they retire. These are ambassadors, we need to use them. Uh, Milton Kosge, our players are used during their heydays, alafu anatupwa, but of course uh, private companies like Bidco, Bidco are taking up this kind of initiative and we are very happy uh, uh, what we are Bidco, shukran sana. We are of course, umu mgina naitua kama nani uyu, Nishan Joge, thank you very much. Timothy, uh, thank you, Nwengi uh, sana, Nick in Nashville, thank you for participating on this show because of time, we will leave it as that. Thank you very much, Tony Luanga. Thank you, Opora. And thank you, Bediko. Menya, menya ndo aliwaleta hapa. Na shukuru sana pia wewe. Hapa na joo unga imingia, kitu kamingia. So, let's say, Fabio, lovely afternoon. My name is Tony Kualanda. This is Kitchen for Sports Up.